T Channel 22 News, Saturday morning. Well, he doesn't let anything get in his way, and tonight he gets to fulfill a dream of playing in a professional basketball game in St. Joseph, Michigan. Scott Odom has a very inspirational story joining me this morning. Thanks for coming in, Scott. And you are joined with Chris Glisson. Chris, you're the uh, owner-manager of the Lake Mission Admirals, a professional basketball team in southwest Michigan. So, Scott, I want to start with you. Um, what people may not realize is you are a heck of a basketball player. I've watched video of you. You're very aggressive. Uh, but you are an amputee. Can yes, you tell us a little bit about your story and what happened? Yes, ma'am. I, I had knee pain since I was about 10 years old. And okay. I went to various doctors, and basically they just told me I was doing too much. I was too active for a kid my age. So this went on for about four years. When I was 14, they finally took an x-ray of my knee. And the x-ray led to an MRI. And when the MRI came back, uh, they were certain that I had osteosarcoma, which translation is bone cancer. Bone cancer. And they said by looking at the MRI, I've had it in my knee for about two years and wow. didn't even know it. And then if another year were to pass, I definitely wouldn't be here today. It probably would have spread or something like that. So you had to make the tough decision to have your leg amputated. Yes, ma'am. It was already spreading. I had the main one on my kneecap. And okay. then when I started chemo, within a month, it was going up my leg. But they were worried about it going to my lungs because once it goes to my lungs, it's pretty hard to treat. Yeah. But they basically led the decision up to me because I was a young, active kid. And um, this, was, this decision was going to affect my life forever. So I could have done a limb salvage surgery, which basically would have saved my leg, but limit me on how active I could be, because okay. they would have placed it with metal rods yeah. or amputation. And I didn't know what an amputee was, I didn't know what a prosthesis was, but I was basically looking at it as my life or my leg at the time, because I was so worried about dying. Okay, so you made that decision, and then um, I hear you got home after recovery, and you went and started shooting hoops. Right? I did, yeah. <laughs> I, I was in a wheelchair, obviously, because I was still bandaged up, but... Yes, I think I went home two days after my surgery, and I wanted my parents to wheel me out in my little therapy place, I call it, to where my basketball hoop was, and I was just wheeling around, shooting around, because to me, that's, I feel at home. And you actually started a special group, a team called Amp One. Yes, ma'am. Uh, the only way I could, pl I could play basketball as an amputee is wheelchair basketball, and I had to train myself to walk, I had to train myself to run, I was very dedicated to it, and so it didn't make sense for me to sit in a wheelchair. I have nothing against wheelchair basketball. Right. I think it's great, but right. I, I'd rather play standing up because that's what I love to and do. And you were able to, and there's several people out there that are able to. So yes, you bring this group together, right? Yes, ma'am. So I was getting told a lot that this couldn't be done. You're crazy, all the negative talk, but, you know, I just put my faith in God and felt that he put this in my heart. And so I put a video on YouTube, and another amputee found me in Utah. And basically, we co-founded Amp One together. And yeah, my teammates are from all over the country, but it's it's really a God thing the way all this How has come together. How inspiring. And uh, you've teamed up Chris. You signed this guy. He's yeah. going to play on your team tonight, Lake Mission Ad Admirals. Tell me about how this connection came about, and you're, you're making Scott's dream come true. You know, I, I, the connection started with my coach first, and then, and then it led into our relationship. And, and now, you know, against the Bloomington Flex, which, you know, they're the two-time defending champions, uh, he'll be going against them tonight. And, and you know, I, I don't put him second to none. I, he is the real deal. Yeah. He can shoot from the outside. And, and when I heard his heart and his uh, inspirational story and, and the dream of being, you know, a professional basketball player, and I'm like, well, why not now? Wow. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. And, and so here he is, and we've been going to schools and, and getting the message out. We did a cancer benefit the other night, and I got to see him play, you know, on another level, and, and he shoots the lights out. Right? <laughs> so I'm excited. So you're hoping I, for a win tonight, that's Scott. That's right. No I'm pressure, selfish. Scott. I, I'm bringing him in to win the game. I don't, you know, I mean. No, uh, real quick, ready. we have a few seconds left. How are you feeling about playing tonight then? Uh, I'm definitely nervous just because, I mean, I, I know I'm going to be the underdog, and it's kind of like a David and Goliath type thing, but... Just with everything. Hey, you know how that story ended. I had news, <laughs> That's what right. I'm but I'm just, I'm just putting my faith in God and know this is happening for a reason. I didn't ask for this. This was presented to me, so He has a plan, and I'm just going to trust and follow Him. Hey, good luck for you tonight. Thanks so much for coming in, guys. Uh, the Admirals take on Bloomington Flex uh, with Scott Odom playing his first ever professional game. You can catch the action six o'clock tonight at Lake Michigan Catholic High School in St. Joseph. Thanks a lot again for coming in. Thanks.